Welcome to HP Tech Tips from Tom. Today we're going to talk to you about Maximus from NVIDIA. So let's hear from NVIDIA and they can tell you about how great performance you can get with 3D Studios Max using Maximus. Hi, so my name is uh, Peter DeLapp from NVIDIA and uh, I, we just rolled out a new product called Maximus which is a combination of a Quadro video card matched with a Tesla C75. Both in this particular workstation right here, Z800, we've got both of those cards. They're tied together with a driver. So let me show you how this works in 3DS Max. So 3DS Max 2012 uh, Advantage Pack, which was just released by Autodesk, uh, gives you IRA version 2. Plus, if you look in the render setup dialog, you'll see this handy little roll out here that's called hardware resources. And right now it's detecting that on this workstation I have, as I said before, a Tesla C2075 and a Quadro 5000. Uh, and by default, when you open it up, the Tesla is checked, which means that it's going to be used for rendering, but the Quadro is not. So if I go in here and I move around this in this viewport, you can see that I have good interactivity because of the Quadro. However, if I decide that I want to go and render something, the rendering is only going to be happening on the Tesla. So this is what iRay looks like. iRay, in case you're not familiar with it, is a GPU accelerated photorealistic renderer produced by NVIDIA. So the other new feature that Autodesk recently introduced is iRay using Active Shade, a way to interactively render, to change your scene and get an instant gratification, instant feedback, or almost instant feedback anyway. So recently they incorporated iRay directly into the Active Shade renderer too. So if I just hit this Active Shade button, the scene gets processed one time. Now I see a, a quick rough rendering which, if we go back and we check, is still only happening on the C2075 and 10 of the 12 cores that are in this Z800 workstation. I might want to modify my colors of the model that I'm working on. And let's get color picker up. And as soon as I mouse up, you see it change in the viewport. And then you'll see my render update almost instantaneously. All right, so let's say that I'm, I'm done doing my art direction and I like this look. Now I want to do a final render of this image. I'll kill my active shade window, go back to production rendering, devote both of my graphics cards, the Tesla and the Quadra, to the render, and maybe all of my CPU cores. We'll kick that back up to 12 again. Hit the render button, and there's my rendering. And this would be, you know, typically completed uh, at a very high resolution, uh, less, less than an hour. So just to summarize, 3DS Max 2012 from Autodesk is the off-the-shelf product that exposes to the user controls that allow you to engage the GPU resources that exist in your workstation. And you can devote them either to full raw horsepower computing for doing final rendering uh, in iRay, or you can reserve your Quadro card for interactive tasks and have the Tesla card doing rendering in the background. So as an end user, NVIDIA Maximus is going to increase your productivity by allowing you to devote the resources that you need at any given time to get your tasks done. Thanks for watching Tom's Tech Tips. I hope you learned something today. Now take a look at this URL for more information and thank you for your time.